Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to nighttime in the city. Summertime in Southern Oregon. Where it's uh, you know, actually a nice 75 degrees at 9 o'clock at night. Not a 105 degrees at 9 o'clock at night. Because I just got back from... Can't really say warm. Can't really say hot. It's a, it's a whole new level. Came back from Palm Springs. In the 2019 SoCal Southern California Motovlogger Meetup. It's an annual event. It takes place out in the desert in SoCal. It starts at a big old dealership in San Bernardino. That's where the festivities kick off, get started. They got booths and meet and greet and everybody just mixes and mingles and, and then the afternoon everybody packs up and jets out to the Palm Springs where they take over one of the hotels for the evening and throw a big old pool party with all kinds of drinking and shenanigans and hooliganism and it is just a great time this is my fourth year attending and it is my best year yet I think So I loaded up the bike on our little utility trailer and drug it behind our turbo Subaru Outback, which that whole thing was just uh, kind of a, a little bit of a nightmare in and of itself. You know, the turbo Subarus don't like the heat. And then uh, we took it to about as hot a place as you can possibly take a car so it was it was uh, right there on the edge of you know panic <laughs> on the temperatures and luckily it wasn't as bad as it could be uh, I'd already upgraded the car with a, a giant all aluminum like, racing radiator yeah I'd done all the stuff I can to help it out but it's still you know, towing 500 pounds of motorcycle on another probably 500 pounds of trailer. You know, they say that car has like a a 2,000 pound towing capacity, but ooh, man, even at only a thousand pounds, it was well on the flats and stuff. It wasn't so bad. It was just like up the hills, over the mountain passes, like the you know the Grapevine Hill down there in LA. There's a little touch and go there. The time, uh, there was a point there where we had all the windows down and the heater cranked and we were just like hoping and praying. But we did it. We made it. We got my bike all the way down there. And I achieved the goal of going riding with the guys. So the drive down was Thursday. Had a couple beers, hit the hay. And then got up nice and early to head out with K6, Ghost Ninja, Tim Kreitz to go cruise up into the mountains and visit Lake Arrowhead and Big Bear and just to have a day of, of motorcycle riding. I got a pretty good video. I did a, a bit of vlogging. My first like 
legit actual vlogging I've done in a while. And then Saturday went and uh, attended the event. We drove out to Chaparral, looked around, bought myself a fancy new jacket, and then partied for the night. And it's Sunday, which was yesterday, uh, we took a little bit of uh, weight off of the car and I rode my bike out of the desert. So Rebecca drove the car with the empty trailer. I rode the bike. Which it wasn't too bad in the morning. We left at like 8 a.m. So it was only like 98 degrees. <laughs> Got out of the desert, loaded the bike back up, drove all the way up to Modesto, stayed the night, and then finished off the last 380 miles today. And here I am, back at home, where I guess we're under fires again because the sky is, is all smoked out and there's that acrid hint of a fire in the air left with nice clean air and skies and come back to this it's like yep it's summer in southern Oregon you can tell because of the smoke back to uh, my normal spot. Had it cranked all the way down for for the desert and for the trailer. Ooh, man, 75 degrees. This jacket's almost too cold for 75 degrees. So the new jacket that I picked up is the Icon Mesh AF. And it, it, it is very meshy. There is just so much airflow to this jacket. It's quite nice. I wore it yesterday morning and I, I not once felt like I was overheated or you know I wasn't really dripping with sweat. So it was pretty nice. It kept me kept me a lot more cool than in my Contra that I wore on Friday. So I'll take it out and do a little more riding in it as the upcoming weeks. And then I'll uh, post up a review on it, my take on it. My wife's been wearing one for a year now. And she's like, uh, you gotta get one. If you're gonna be riding in the desert, you just gotta have one of these jackets. So, here we go. I got it now. And I'm glad that you came along and joined me for this. I'm glad to be back home. I'm glad to be back up in your faces. And hopefully we will talk much more in the uh, upcoming future. So, keep an eye out. I got the SCMM videos. I got my whole Washington trip coming up. So hit that subscribe. Tap on that notification bell so that you can get a little message every time I got something new coming at you. So until then, stay safe. Have fun. Peace.